In one of the most jaw-dropping episodes of Gossip Girl ever, Serena reveals to her friends that she thinks she killed someone. In reality, she didn't kill anyone. A guy she used to hook up with named Pete Fairman overdosed in a hotel room right next to her. Ultimately, we know Serena wasn't at fault for Pete's overdose, but she lived with the guilt of that night for several years. Here's what some Gossip Girl viewers have been saying on social media. One person wrote, I'm very confused about the Pete thing. I don't understand how Lily could watch the video and blame Serena. The night started with Georgina admitting that she was secretly filming Serena. Serena was underage at the time, so the fact that Georgina was filming her without consent was already a major issue. After that, Pete aggressively tried to force himself on Serena multiple times. Every single time she rejected him. So again, how is Serena the bad guy in this scenario? And then after that, Pete overdosed on his own supply of illegal substances. Serena didn't encourage him to do the drugs, nor did she supply them. The fact that Serena felt guilty for the events of that night is quite sad since she wasn't to blame in the slightest. One social media user posted, I hate the whole Pete thing. Honestly, zero sympathy for him. Really don't care that he died. He was a grown man hanging out and sleeping with minors. They went on to note that he was also down to secretly film a sex tape with Serena, who was underage at the time. He knew she wouldn't be aware of the hidden camera Georgina set up. Pete was nothing more than a predator. The deeper issue of the Pete scandal is that Serena was also under the influence. Pete was an older man who was trying to coerce her into hooking up on camera. After he passed away using his own batch of illegal substances, Serena was left to bear the weight of that guilt by herself because she didn't feel like she had any safe people she could open up to. After watching Gossip Girl straight through once, picking up all of these little details might not easily happen. But after really re-watching the show to take note of the depth of the Pete scandal, it's easier to understand why Pete really didn't deserve any sympathy at all. What are your opinions about the Pete scandal that happened on Gossip Girl? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.